Meghan Markle and Prince Harry traveled to Buckingham Palace this evening to join the entire royal family, including King Charles III, the Queen Consort and the Prince and Princess of Wales, as they received the Queen's coffin. The US-based Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who have remained in the UK following what was supposed to be a whistle-stop tour of Europe, were spotted in their vehicle when arriving at the London Royal Residence. Earlier today, the Queen's coffin left St Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh, and was flown to Raff Northolt, before being driven to the palace, where the late monarch will spend the night for the last time. On the steps of the grand entrance Charles and Camilla were joined by William, Kate, Meghan and Harry along with the Earl and Countess of Wessex and their children Lady Louise and Viscount Severn, the Duke of York and his daughters Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank and Princess Beatrice and her spouse Eduardo Mazzi. Lady Sarah Chatto and Earl Snowden, the children of Princess Margaret, the Queen's sister, were among the group to pay their respects to their aunt. Standing in the palace's quadrangle was a guard of honor formed from the 1st Battalion Coldstream Guards and they gave the royal salute as the hearse came to a stop. The bearer party, from the Queen's Company 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards, carried the coffin into the bow room and in a poignant moment the Sovereign's Piper, Pipe Major Paul Burns of the Royal Regiment of Scotland, played a lament. Prince Harry's appearance comes after a royal author today said the Duke's autobiography will be published as planned in November despite the Queen's death. Tom Bauer, whose biography of Meghan Markle was released earlier this year, claimed the Duke of Sussex was insisting on the original date being honoured. I am told tonight that Harry is insisting that his book is published in November, he told GB News. Apparently the publishers are not too certain, but he says if they don't publish it will be a breach of contract. That's what I am told, it's extraordinary. But on the other hand it fits the bill, because Harry and Meghan's finances depend entirely on the book and on Netflix. And also, I think they are convinced they're in the right and they want to get their own back. Today, a source close to the Duke denied the claims Bauer made to GB News. Meanwhile, Penguin has previously announced that Harry will be donating proceeds from the book to charity. Earlier this week, royal experts told Mail Online it would be a very bad look for Harry to publish anything controversial at this time. Meanwhile, publishing sources have suggested that it may be pushed back to 2023 to allow Prince Harry time to write additional chapters on the passing of the Queen. Phil Dampier suggested that despite Harry and William's walkabout at Windsor earlier this week, the rift between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family is as raw as ever. And fellow royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliam said he never thought the book should have been written but for it to be published now, even with an additional chapter discussing the late Queen, would be ill-advised. He said, it is not a matter of a rewrite, it's a matter of a rethink. 
Were it to be published, if it had anything sensational it would be tasteless. It is a matter for him how he wants to be perceived. With a new reign it is natural that his loyalty is to his father who is very fond of him. What better way to show his loyalty than by postponing, even permanently, the memoir which never should have been linked to the Queen's Jubilee year. Mr. Fitzwilliam said the damage to Prince Harry's reputation would naturally depend on what the book discusses, which is still a mystery. But it would be inappropriate for him to publish anything that had any controversial content especially at this time, he said. Mr. Dampier said publishing the memoir would ruin any chance of a family reconciliation, adding, if Harry makes things worse there is no way back for him. That would be a line crossed and Charles and William would find it hard to forgive him.